Oh, that was lovely. Thank you, my dear. What kind of garden do you come from? Oh, I don't come from any garden. <gasps> do you suppose she's a wildflower? Oh, no. I'm not a wildflower. Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite stories ever, particularly because of its craziness and logical illogicalness. Ever since I was young, I could always remember the scene with the talking flowers with faces. So welcome to my channel everyone, this is Ash and we're going to be drawing an Alice in Wonderland inspired flower. My drawing is a very simple concept. I just wanted a flower with lots of petals to have a rather judgy eye in the middle. In the background, I decided to cover it with fern-like leaves. The comment at the top, do you suppose she's a wildflower, is from the scene I played in the intro. Along with my obsession for Alice in Wonderland, I also love dot shading. For anyone who doesn't know, dot shading is when you create the illusions of highlights and lowlights by adding dots close together for shadows and spreading them out for highlights. This is a technique that I fell in love with the moment I tried it. It makes everything have a weirdly natural and grainy texture, while still giving realistic shading. However, the downside of this technique is that it takes so much time, so much patience and time, but it's really fun, I promise, and extremely rewarding. I've only done small scale drawings with dot shading, like an A5 size or so, so I've never actually ventured out into the world of large dot shading pieces. However, after realizing that I've never done anything bigger than A5, I'm now extremely ready to try a large scale piece. You can start sending me your time and patience now, please. This piece ended up reminding me of a bumper sticker illustration because I decided to crop it in a circle shape. So I might try and scan it into my computer at some point to make a digital sticker version. I don't know. Speaking of that, I'm looking at opening an online shop for my prints and commissions. I'm not sure how the logistics of it will work yet, but I'm very keen on getting it going. Any tips or tricks on starting an online shop would be greatly appreciated in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to support me, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.